a new planet has been discovered, and with it brings an industrial age. With new resources to be discovered and research at the highest priority, you can always guarantee there's some new tech on the horizon. And there's no difference here as Fixit Incorporated brings you satisfactory how it's made. And there's no better place to start than handcrafted beginnings. Yes, all the things you're going to need made by hand. With the Pioneer landing safely on the planet, it is now their duty to recycle their drop pod. Using a tool, they'll dismantle it and retrieve a Fixit hub block. This is vitally important, as you will see soon. But first, the Pioneer needs to find iron. Iron can be found throughout the planet and can also be scanned. Once the Pioneer has found their iron deposit, they need to extract it manually using a chisel. This node on the top of this deposit is a pure iron node, which means you'll get the best yield. But this will not last forever. It's important for the Pioneer to understand what locations are best, because each deposit, whether it's copper or iron, can vary. They can vary from impure deposits to normal to pure. The more pure a deposit is, the higher the yield. Now that we've gathered all the iron, we need to build the hub. The hub is the Pioneer's HQ, where they can craft and also receive their milestones from Fixit. The hub is fully upgradable, with a craft bench and a Fixit hub. And here is where the Pioneer can upgrade their hub. With Tier 0 being the first one, they're going to go with Upgrade 1. This will unlock a craft bench, a equipment workshop, a smelter, power line, portable miner, and many more. Selecting this milestone, it requires iron rod. Ten of them to be precise. Now over at the crafting bench, it's time to turn our iron ore into iron ingots. And we do this using Thor's mighty hammer and smiting them. Each iron ingot requires one iron ore, so it's a one for one trade. Now all the iron ingots has been crafted, they move on to the iron plate, using the same process as Thor's mighty hammer and squishing it down. And this recipe requires two iron ingots to one plate. There's also iron rods. They take one ingot for one rod. Now everything's crafted, the pioneer returns to the fix-it hub and places in their milestone, which in this case, 10 iron rods. Once placed, they will activate their upgrade. Not only does this upgrade give the craft benches, but it also gives a source of power and a handy dandy personal box. Now the sun's up, the Pioneer is ready to craft their first bench. And that one is the craft bench. Available already in the hub, it's always great to have if you have other colleagues coming over to help you in your build. The second one is a vital one, Equipment Workshop. This will help you unlock other tech, such as the Portable Miner. With the benches constructed, the Pioneer can now use them and makes the most of the equipment bench, heading on over to print some Portable Miners. Portable miners cost iron plate, wire, and cable. Time for a quick scan. The Pioneer gets hard to work on that copper, one tink 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 at a time. Now they're full, the Pioneer will head back to the hub. Back at the crafting bench, it's time to turn that copper ore into copper ingots. The same as we did with the iron, we can just take our mighty mallet and smash it all up. The recipe is the same, it's one for one.
it's now time to turn that copper ingot into copper wire. And copper wire's recipe is one iron ingot for three wire. Finished with the wire, the pioneer moves on to cables. That uses two wire to make one cable. From the crafting bench to the equipment workshop. The pioneer is now ready to craft those portable miners. And three is how many they're going to make. The portable miners are going to be a great help for the pioneer. Not only are they fast, but they are efficient in grabbing all those ores. And once crafted, they need to equip them in their hand. Portable miners in hand, she stares at you awkwardly before going off to a deposit. Operating the portable miner is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Find your deposit. Once deployed, the portable miner springs into action with a little animation before it gets settled and gets ready to drill. Drill set up. It's time to kick back and relax. Or is it? The Pioneer can mine twice as fast as the portable miner. So to even the odds, we'll place two. The portable miners can hold up to a hundred units of ore each. Operating the portable miner's user interface, you can see how many ores are being stored and you can withdraw them by just dragging them into your inventory or by using the very convenient grab all button or pick up miner. So portable miners can be used on many different deposits, be it iron, copper, limestone, sam ore or quartz. You are ready to go with your portable miners. Now with all that handcrafting knowledge under your belt, you surely know how it's made. And I hope you don't mind, but I'm leaving. Yeah, bad taste joke. Hey folks, thank you very much for watching. I've been Zelly, and this has been our first episode in How It's Made Satisfactory. If you enjoy these, show us and let us know. Hit that like button, leave a comment, take it easy, look after yourselves, and a ciao for now.